So today we're going to talk about light and its progress through the skin. This is not trivial because there are various processes which can occur. When you fire laser or IPL light energy at the skin, it will have a certain fluence or energy density. This is simply the energy divided by the spot size area. The energy which strikes the skin surface is known as E0. But some of this energy will be reflected uh, in what's known as regular or Fresnel reflections. Now, this can account for between 4 and 7% of the initial energy. So right away, we've lost some of the energy that we, that we want. The remaining energy will go into the skin and will encounter the melanin or the melanocytes at the basal layer at the bottom of the epidermis. Now this will absorb um, a significant amount of this energy, uh, potentially up to 20% or even more in darker skins. And this heat energy will raise the temperature in the basal layer. Now the basal layer is very thin, so it will lose that heat energy rapidly into the epidermis above and the papillary dermis below. And this is what causes pain, thermal pain. There are many thermal receptors just below the the epidermal layer and the heat transferring from the basal layer into those uh, thermal receptors will trigger a painful sensation. So it's, it's very useful to apply cooling techniques at the skin surface to try to minimize that painful sensation. The depth to which different wavelengths can uh, progress to depends very much on the wavelength. Blue light will not penetrate very far, only down to the basal layer at the bottom of the epidermis. Green light can penetrate into the papillary dermis, um, yellow light a little bit further. Red light will go into the, the dermis and near infrared will penetrate the furthest, um, almost down into the fatty tissue, just depending how deep that is. When light gets into the dermis, it encounters a highly scattering medium. This means that the photons are bounced about all over the place and can cause the, the beam diameter to spread out significantly. Some of this light, some of the scattered light, will actually be turned through 180 degrees and will leave the skin completely. Calculations show that this may account for up to 50% loss um, purely due to backscattering. So let's say we have a target somewhere in the dermis at, uh, at a depth D and some of the light energy will reach this target the target has an absorption coefficient A and what we have to do is to, to try to match the wavelength with the absorption coefficient. If we can do that correctly then we will maximize the amount of energy absorbed by that target relative to the surrounding tissues and this will create a, a, a localized hotspot in the target hopefully without damaging the surrounding tissues. This is the principle of selective photothermolysis. When we discussed the penetration depth of light previously, it was purely with respect to the wavelength. A more useful definition is the useful penetration depth, which depends on the wavelength, the spot diameter, and the energy at the surface, E0. Uh, Combined, these give you the fluids or the energy density. And this essentially tells us uh, the amount of energy which reaches the target depth. The amount of energy which is finally absorbed by the target, which is the ultimate goal, depends therefore on the, the wavelength, the depth uh, of the target, the absorption coefficient of that target, and the scattering coefficient of the surrounding uh, dermal medium. By the time we get the energy down to this depth, uh, a lot of it will have been lost, as, as we've seen, 
and only a small amount will actually reach there. And if we don't get enough energy into the target, then it will not uh, perform the, the, the function that we're trying to do in the first place. So to recap all of that, we fire some laser or IPL energy into the skin with a certain fluence and a certain spot size. The energy at the skin surface is uh, E naught. Some of that is reflected uh, due to Fresnel reflections, so we've lost a few percent already. The remainder goes into the skin and is absorbed in the basal layer by the melanocytes and the melanin, but that again loses maybe 20-25% of the energy. Uh, blue light doesn't penetrate too far, green, yellow get a little bit deeper, red and near-infrared get uh, deeper still. The light that does get into the skin, into the dermis, is then scattered about uh, all over the place. Uh, some of it will be backscattered out of the skin and, and be lost uh, into the environment. Uh, that, that could be quite a substantial amount, in fact. Um, the remainder, which uh, does finally get down to the target, um, some of that will be absorbed, uh, not all of it, and uh, this will cause the, the temperature rise uh, that we're, we're trying to achieve. And as we've seen, the, the principle of selective photothermolysis is that we try to match this uh, incoming wavelength with the absorption coefficient of the, uh, of the target. Useful penetration depth, as we mentioned, depends on the wavelength of the light, the spot diameter and the energy. And then the energy that's finally absorbed by the target depends on the, the wavelength, the depth of the target, the absorption coefficient of the target, the scattering coefficient of the surrounding medium. So that's a brief introduction into how light penetrates the skin and is finally absorbed by the target, whatever that might be. Uh, for more information, please visit our website. Um, we've got uh, uh, a blog there and we've got some, uh, some other animations like this and we've also got a, a, a book coming out quite soon, uh, which hopefully will describe this all in, in uh, a little bit more detail for you. Thanks for listening.